This is Joy in the Journey with your hosts, Sue Landis and Beth Davis. Sharing real life stories, struggles, and victories, and how it's possible to keep your joy through it all. So stay tuned. It's time for Joy in the Journey. Well, good evening. Welcome to Joy in the Journey. My name is Beth Davis. Sue Landis here as uh, my co sister, co anchor, co helper. Uh, on Join the Journey. We're glad. Thank you for being a part of what uh, God's going to do tonight as we talk about um, singing and praising and praying and waiting. Nice. You ever have to wait on the Lord? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> waiting on the Lord. So let me just draw out some scriptures here. It's, uh, and that's where we'll start. And we'll just let the Holy Spirit do whatever he desires to do as he's ministering to you and you and you and you. And us too. And us too. <laughs> yeah, he's ministering to me today. So um, I'm just going to jump right in there. Give it, give it to you as it was coming to me. All right. Uh, this is Psalm 27. And I'm not going to take time to uh, read the whole thing. That's something that I would encourage you to do is open a Bible there and read Psalm 27. Let the Lord minister to you in the whole scripture, but I wanted to bring out um, verse 13 and 14. 13 says, I would have lost hope um, unless I had believed. And I want to talk about that believed because it has a little special star beside it. So that means believed is important in this scripture. Um, that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And then 14 says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, comma, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, comma, I say, comma, on the Lord. So that's important too. That was a lot of waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, comma, and I say, comma, he wants to make sure, you know, that, that we have to we're wait. picking that up. Yeah, yeah. So, um, like I said, you read the whole thing because it kind of, what he does here, what David does here is he, he starts out in this Psalm 27 and, he, and he, uh, he starts out with a praise, you know, I'm praising the Lord and that's how I, when I begin to talk with the Lord or spend that time with him, I start yeah. out with praises. Well, it says to enter his courts with yeah. praise. Yeah. Praise and thanksgiving. Yeah. You know, and then he turns it as you go on down through it. And you'll notice, you'll notice that as you read the scripture yourself, he kind of turns into, it turns into some prayers. Um, let me see here if it says, uh, here, here, O oh Lord, it says in seven, when I cry with my voice, have mercy upon me and answer me. So he's praying. He's asking and submitting his request before the Lord. Right. And then he wraps it up at the end with waiting. And that's the key. The waiting is the key to victorious living. And it's not easy for us in this century or generation. Really? Because, yeah, we have everything microwave. Oh, yeah. That's what Pastor Jerry society. says. Yeah. You know? yeah. Everything's microwave. So microwave society. If I can't eat right at the moment, I'm going to go. The Burger King. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> you, might, you might wait a yeah. little bit. You might Burger wait there too King. anymore. I'll tell you what. They just got some drive and drive yeah. drive through lines. But yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to remind the audience too. I don't normally always share this, uh, but that uh, join the journey is cover, uh, under the covering of Faith Harvest Fellowship. Um, our uh, fellowship that we attend, our church or whatever you want to call it, um, congregation. That's the covering that that join the journey has. We're not just Join the journey out there by there. ourselves, you know, just <laughs> floating around in our joy and our no. journey. But Faith Harvest Fellowship, that's our covering over the ministry here that God has uh, ordained and set forth. He's the one that put this together. Yep. This is a God ordained, I fresh believe. Fresh vision. Mm -hmm, yeah. Through the Fresh Vision Media. Ministry. Yeah, so Mystery. that's important. Yeah. I, I want to uh, bring that out as well so that you know when you pray, you can also be praying for not just you know, um, join the journey us or... and join the journey as God uh, uses our voices um, to reach nations. You know, I'm believing big because God's big, mm -hmm. um, but to cover, you know, the fellowship as well. And um, just however the Lord leads you. So I just felt that we should share that. So mm -hmm. prayer and then he wraps it up with the waiting, which is the key, I said, to our victorious living. So prayer, to wait. Praise, praise, 
singing. <coughs> or singing. And <laughs> you want to sing? Is that what you're clearing your throat I, I for? Would, Come on, I would sing. love to sing. Sing more. I know you <laughs> sing, Sue. Come on, sing a song. Joy Lord's my strength. I can't think of a song off the top of my head, but I know that's I why you cleared your throat. <laughs> Should I need to sing something, huh? Yeah, you're supposed to sing to them. Sing, this isn't Christian. Sing a song. <laughs> sing out loud. Hey, sing out strong. Throat. There we go. How's hey, there that? There we go. That was okay. good. Okay, so there's singing and, and waiting mm -hmm. and, well, praying. Praying second. Praying mm -hmm. second and then and waiting. Wait. Yeah. And then wait some more. Yeah, and wait some wait more. Wait some more. Yeah. Okay. And sometimes we wait a long time. Yeah, and I think a lot of people lose hope yes. in that waiting period. You do. They you get do. to the point of where... It could even be maybe the deepest place they're in, mm -hmm. but if they just would make one more step, yes, maybe yes. there would be that, maybe, no, there would be that there stone would be. There would that be. God has there set be. there for them to step on to mm -hmm. get to where he wants them to go. Right. And a lot of people give up right. their hope. They do. And God is a God of hope. Right. Just when we're at the edge, just as we're at the, at the mm -hmm. edge of breakthrough, you know, getting through, because there's seasons, you know, and we go through these seasons, just like we live in a, in this uh, world where there's actually literally seasons, 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 yeah. seasons, no, not seasons, seasons, seasons. I'm talking about Thesians and feasting and all this stuff's wrapped up in one <laughs> word there. It is because we're going to be feasting, right? right? Yeah, yeah we're, we're in a, we're in a uh, season of Thanksgiving, you know, yeah. and being thankful unto the Lord. And, and I think that's important, you know, yes, just to is. have an attitude of thanks all the time, you know, mm -hmm. but we are in a time that we should um, be especially thankful. Not that we shouldn't be all the time, but in a season of Thanksgiving. So that's why that came out. You know, I mean, I'm thinking of feasting and I'm thinking of Thanksgiving. <laughs> and, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes the words fun. just get all wrapped up together. That's OK. That's OK, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but do they? <laughs> do they know what I'm talking well, about? Hopefully the Holy Spirit will enlighten them. Yeah, <laughs> he'll make sure they hear it just exactly like they mean like it. it needs meant to be. to be heard and I've had him do that yes I've said too. something and somebody came to me and said something totally different than what I thought I said isn't that awesome and it though. ministered to him like God you're good that's good that's not what I said <laughs> and if it ministered to her it brings you hope and yeah you know, that you can trust he, you can trust him that yeah. you know even if we like screw up or say the wrong thing <laughs> it doesn't matter because he, he fixes can, it all and it comes out just right for the people that are hearing yeah. or listening he makes the receiver and yes. the um, yeah. sender yes that's so, awesome he's awesome he God. knows how to get the message to us if yeah. we're willing to Oh, he's good. Isn't he good? Pray. He's good, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, he's good God. He's pray, good God. praise, praise, sing, pray, singing and waiting. Well, singing could be praising, you know, praising could be part of your singing like I sing, you know. Yeah. 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 So anyway, this me. is really cool. I think this is really cool. This is how the Lord just ministers to me. I just get excited over little things that people say, oh, that's just a coincidence. No, it's not. No. There's no such thing as coincidence. He cares about the even... littlest things yeah. that we, yeah. if we just give them to him. I don't think coincidence is in his vocabulary. No. It's, it's, it's purposed for reasons. Yeah. And it's always right on time and it's in season. You know, I mean, it's just, it's right on time with God. It's not an accident, never coincidence. So when I was looking at this, you know, and I, like I said earlier, I said that word believe, um, where did I find it here? Uh, I would have lost heart. Uh, I Unless I had believed, believed yeah. you know, and so then it says, you know, do a little bit of research there. Help, let me let me help you. You meditate. You chew on that a little bit because mm -hmm. that's what the Lord says. You know, you chew. You don't just read down through it. You chew and meditate. That's what meditate means. You chew. We chew our food. So let's chew this food, right? Because mm -hmm. we chew food for our physical bodies. So, so our spiritual we need bodies to choose need. this. We need to chew this spiritual food as well. Right. And that's what meditating. So I'm thinking, okay, Lord, that popped off the page. Let's look at this. Let's, let's meditate. Let's chew on believe. So I'm doing some looking here, reading down here a little bit on some things. And it tells me to turn to, get this. I like this. Second Chronicles 2020. Imagine that. It's not a What year are we living in? What has this been? This has been the year of 2020, and it's been a, quite a year. And he's telling me to go back to 2020 here in Second Chronicles. And I said, God, you're so good, you know, because <laughs> he, he wants it. us to, to be steadfast in our walk and to believe. You know, it's important to believe everything he says. And then the waiting part. But let's just go down through this a little bit. I had made some notes here mm -hmm. on this back in 2020. Um, and I don't, I'm, I'm, by all means, I am not... Um, I'm not schooled in this by the world standards, you know, of theology, you know, and 
I mean, I'm the Holy Spirit's been in my school, yeah. you know, so I don't really know all the terminology and the right pronunciations, but, you know, a lot of times it'll have Greek pronunciations. And, right. And I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, unless you know. Give it a shot. No, I don't think I've heard this one <laughs> give before. Give it a but shot. Give it a shot. Uh, it's, per, it's, it's spelled A-M-A-N, and it has it in parentheses there, but I'm not real good at all that stuff. It sounds like a, a ma or a mon. I'm not really sure. It's... Uh, something along that line in the Greek. But this is what it means. And we're talking about believed, okay? Mm -hmm. Believed, he wants us to believe. And he's saying it's to be firm. So in our belief, we have to be firm. Right. We have to be stable. Right. You can't be wishy-washy, oh, I don't know. I want to be you an know, unstable just, man. Yeah, we gotta be stable. We gotta yeah. be established. And listen to this one, be firmly persuaded. That's good. Be firmly persuaded. To believe hmm. solidly, solidly. I think that's how you say that, solidly. Yeah, which reminds me of what you're going to go to next anyway, so I'll wait. Oh, get away. There's a bug flying <laughs> into the set here. We don't need you. We don't need Get no away. Bugs. Get away in Jesus' name. <laughs> Sorry. You can do anything you will to distract us because we're getting into good stuff here, yes. right? So go go there. Want to go there? Sure. Um, 2020 in Second Chronicles, and I only know this because you told me, we but I think it. about Moses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, Abraham. 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 Abram. Abram. Yes. He's still Abram. And he, um, the scriptures say that, well, he was fully persuaded that what God had said, what God had promised, God was able to perform. Mm -hmm. And so he was totally persuaded that, yes, even though I'm over 100, I think he was. What was God telling him? Believe. Believe what? Believe he's going to have a child. He's going to have a baby. How old was he? With how Sarah. Old, how old I think he was over 100. <laughs> I think Sarah was 90. Can but you I'm, imagine? No. If God would put something like that on us. So go, go ahead. I mean, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I don't know if I want a kid at 90. <laughs> really, God? Really? Do I have to? But this is a special. I know, right? This is a very special This is very special. Child. Yes, very And they, special. Want, they were wanting that. They did. They from did. a long time. Yes. For a long time. For a long time. Yeah. And so then comes God and, and comes God. <laughs> what's he tell him? He says, and then, and then uh, at the end there mm. in, in verse six, he says, and he believed in the Lord and he accounted it to him as for righteousness. Because he believed, you know, hey, whatever you say, because I don't have any heirs here, you know. Well, he, mm. had, he did have an heir. Well, he thought it was an heir. Um, he says, the heir of my house is Eliezer. Is that a, you say Eliezer, that? I think. Of Damascus. Yeah. And Abram said, look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him. Hmm. What did he say? He says, this one shall not be your heir, but one will come from your own body. It's like, wait a minute. How are you going to do that? Sarah yeah. don't have babies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they neither were at imagine. the age where they could do that oh, man, physically. Just, just be great. It won't be great to sit with these. Oh, yeah. One day and say, man, how'd that feel when he said that? <laughs> you know, yeah. what went through your mind, you know, and just have conversations. I, I'm right. just looking forward to that, you know. I'm looking forward to hearing some other people's oh, conversations because yeah. even now I believe the Bible talks about us being testaments, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so there's going to be some pretty awesome stories yes. we're going to hear yes. that um, we maybe didn't hear while we were here on I Earth. Know, but right. Exciting time, good stuff. exciting time. Yes. So that's uh, that's looking at right there an example. And, and he he believed, you know, and that's what we have to do. We have to come to that point where we're, we're going to believe. Gonna was believe it Sarah that laughed or was that another? I think it was Sarah. Yeah. She yeah. kind of got scolded, didn't she, I for laughing so. about it? I think she did. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, did that cause him to stumble at all? Hmm. And didn't Sarah talk him into laying with the servant, which yeah. created an illegitimate. Oh, that was not good stuff. Because she, she do it her way. Do we do it our way? No. We'll do it our way. I, she says, I'll do it my our way. Our ways are not his ways. I know that. <laughs> I got him into big <laughs> trouble, didn't it? Oh, yeah, it did. Boy. Yeah. But yeah, how did. many times? Because we don't wait. We don't wait. Yeah. We don't wait. We try to figure it out. We try uh, to do it our way because we can't see and that's why it's so important that we're in this word on a regular basis not just okay i sit down and read my scriptures today because because our church does scriptures on a regular basis and we read them every single day there's one you know they have like an assigned assigned thing you know to keep us in the word read. Mm -hmm. it's not just you know religious no not religiously legalistically getting in there okay i'm going to read uh, chapter 26 today you know because that's what it says on the list to read chapter 26 and i read it and okay i'm done 
No. You're you missing know. out on some. Yeah. I'm not, I, I've been guilty of that. I'm oh, not going to say I have Me been. too. By all means. I'm not saying I haven't. Yeah. You know? Been there, done that, and that's how we learn. That's right. how God teaches us. But I do know it's the quality of the time, not mm -hmm. the quantity. Mm -hmm. And the hunger. Yeah. You know, the desire and the hunger, you know, that you mm -hmm. pursue it. We pursue so many things in life, yeah. you know, that we desire and we want. Well, I, that's what I've been crying out for. And God answers our prayers. Yes, if he we, does. If we, if we really mean it from our heart, you know, and, and I, I mean it, Lord, I, I want a hunger and I want a thirst and I, mm -hmm. I just want a desire, you know, to continually get in it. And, you know, I, I, I woke up, you know, even last night, Sue, I woke up, it was 2.30, you know, and I, I thought, wait a minute, Lord, this isn't even four. It's been four, you know, what's this 2.30 thing, you know? Why 2.30? <laughs> You know, and it wasn't shortly after that. I had a text from my son. He says, I just can't sleep tonight, you know, and wow. God is ministering to this young man. You know, yeah. and he's my adult son, but he's ministering to him. He's he's drawing. You know, that's how that's God awesome. does. He draws. And I've been, you know, sharing a little word here, a little word there, not preaching the gospel to him, just sharing you know, little things as the spirit gives utterance, you know. Mm -hmm. And today he says, you know, I just couldn't sleep last night. I had that thing coming. He's got this thing going on, you know, where he. He feels like it wakes him up because he can't breathe, you know, and the enemy's trying to Tell draw him you into that, you know, yeah. and all that garbage, you know. And you know what he did last night? Instead of giving that place to that, oh, you know, maybe I've got to go, maybe i got to, blah, 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 you know. You know what he did? What did he, he do? He pulled up Stephen Furtick and listened to a sermon. Oh, and he says, you know, God, I didn't that's even like a high five for Jesus <laughs> is what I'm talking about. Yeah. He <laughs> says, I really like that guy. So, yeah, he's, he's got some yeah. spirit ministering there, you know, through him. And he and, happened to be on. Yes, just, just that time. Yeah, it just happened. Two thirty in the morning. Yeah, just happened to be. And, <laughs> and he says, "You know, I fell asleep. I don't even remember." I said, "But it went in there, Tim. Yeah, it went in there. Your spirit yeah. heard it. You know, and he's heard that. You know, he's heard me share that I do that. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes I would wake up. You know, and be like, I'd turn something on to listen. You know, or maybe the television, or maybe my phone. You know, it's right there by my ear, and I mm -hmm. can hear." Hear somebody ministering to me, or I pray in tongues because the devil don't like it when we pray in tongues. And no, we'll have to have a program doesn't. on, on uh, talking and, and speaking in tongues and in praying, our spiritual yep. heavenly language, so that you want to come back and listen to that. That you, if you don't know about that, that we can you know expound on Maybe that as, part, as the Holy Spirit. Yeah, but sometimes I'll do that because he don't have a clue what he the doesn't enemy like it. Don't like it. Don't know what you're saying. Yeah, you know. So, hey, <laughs> but you know what? I want to take a break right here. I want to give, uh, um, not that, because we're going to continue with this. This is mm -hmm. good stuff. But I just, I just felt the spirit, you know, just uh, remind me. It's so important, you know, everything we do in the body of Christ. You know, there's so many different pieces and parts, yeah. you know. And, and some parts um, don't get seen. They don't, you know. Um, which are the important ones. Right, right. And I just think of puzzles and, and putting them together. And there's so many different pieces and parts to mm -hmm. it. And uh, in the natural, I'm thinking of a puzzle. But in the body of Christ, there's so many different uh, avenues and places and things that go on seen or un unknown. Uh, even like cleaning ministry. You know? Oh, yeah. Cleaning ministry is a, a big one. People don't even know. You know, they just come in and it's always clean. You just assume it's clean. You know, yeah. so somebody's cleaning it. Well, yeah. I'm thinking of the media ministry, you know, and mm -hmm. how many different things, you know. Um, that make it possible, you know, t so that we can sit here, you know, mm -hmm. and allow the Lord to use our voices, you know, even from, from Ron coming in, you know, he's faithful to come in and, and, Sets and brother Jim, you know, they set up the, the, uh, studio here. Yeah. They, they make it come alive, you know, from yeah. our, cause this is our sanctuary, you know, from church and they turn it into the studio, mm -hmm. you know, and it nobody's paying time. them anything to do that. You know, they yeah. show up, uh, Pop in, pop out, you know, get it ready, tear it down for the next one, set up, you know. And then we got camera people, you know, and that so show faithfully show up. And we want to show our camera people <laughs> off today. So hopefully Reverend Jackie can get yeah. a shot of us right now. And yeah, so she can show off our camera people that are here, that faithfully yeah. show up. You know, like I say, they don't get paid anything, but they're faithful. And I'm believing God's going to reward that, you know, as the ministry grows. I'm yeah. believing that, you know, because God rewards faithful faithfulness right. you know, and I believe that they will re be rewarded for their faithfulness so and I'm not sure who she's got on right now can you can you give a shot of um, Tammy or are we gonna do Jim first which one we oh got she Tammy just gonna, and Jim she, she just get both of them to the camera awesome. <laughs> these guys are here almost every week mm -hmm. for at least three or four hours if yes. not more yeah um, 
yep. faithfully. Oh, and we don't want to forget Jackie back in oh, the right. switcher room who, yep. who can do the switcher and yeah. listen to the sound at the same time. Yeah. That's talent because I cannot, multitasking, I cannot that's do really that. That's really a two-person job back yeah. there. And we wanted to know. get her in there too. Yeah. but um, We'll get her on there because yeah, we'll I'm going to snatch a picture of her and and we'll get her. We'll get a picture of her on here, so right. we can, you can see a little uh, preview into our uh, where it all Media. makes it all happen back there. And you know, she keeps it alive, and she's moving and everything on that. So she, we'll get a picture of that on, yep. so you can kind of take a peek back into our uh, our room back there, where all the equipment and the programming and all that's done, and um, so much more that's going to happen with that room. That's not that we haven't accessed yet, you know, right. with the editing and just wh wherever God takes that. I mm -hmm. mean, God's a big God, so. He didn't just set that room up back there just to have a little corner used, you know. Right. It's going to be maxed out here um, one day soon, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah. I just want to give a shout out to everybody. Um, the Lord just, he just has such beautiful people that come together, mm -hmm. you know, and w are willing uh, to sacrifice time. That's what it is, you know, sacrifice time. And sometimes it takes longer, you know, with the different programs. If we do one yeah. and we do another one and change clothes and come back and, and sometimes there's issues and we have to start and restop, you know, yeah. stop and restart. You're always so patient on waiting yeah. for us to get ready. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good nice. stuff. Which so, yeah. yeah, I just needed to do that. And All right. uh, just so uh, we can give uh, honor out. where honors do and um, yep. just uh, show the parts that people don't see. You don't see, you don't even know that, you know, and I don't take it lightly, you know, because um, can't do this all on our yeah, own. Yeah, we wouldn't be here know? if it wasn't for... Yeah. The all support the different parts. And the people that do what they mm -hmm. do and that's why we We're continually thankful. ask for prayer support as well because yeah. it takes prayer um, because you know the enemy comes and tries to mess up keep our us day from getting there you know yeah to do the programming and and to come to you every thursday night so that's why we appreciate and covet your prayers to cover us as well so where were we where were we sue we were talking about abraham and yes. then about the waiting the waiting the, the waiting yeah. there was something else i had here with that with the waiting um, or with the... Um, I think it was the waiting. Let me see if I can find it. Let me go back here. I know you talked about uh, Amon or mm -hmm. whatever that word. Yeah. The Greek or Hebrew the Greek, for... I uh, hope I don't... For believed. ...cause a lot of problems with my page shuffling here. If I get that iPad from my son to use, that'll be really, really nice. Um, I won't have to shuffle. <laughs> um, there's something about shuffling through oh, a Bible, I know. though. I mean, There's just something about pages, something about the right? pages and... Something about pages. I like... I like it that way too. Let me see which one it was here. Uh, so on the waiting on the Lord, um, that's like I said that I want to repeat that that's the key to our victorious living, mm -hmm. this this life with the Lord, um, our journey with the Lord. Section one, section one, section one, right here it is, right here it is. Um, and what scripture? What is it? Twenty-seven. Okay. What you got for us? Delight in, delight in and seek time with God. We just talked about that. Yeah. You know, to have that desire. And if you don't have it, to ask him to, to, to help you develop that yeah. hunger, you know, and thirst. So delight in and seek time. Seek time. You know, when you wake up in the middle of the night, because a lot of times, you know, my son would wake up, you know, and call me, you know, I just can't sleep. And so focused on, I can't sleep. Mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, oh, God, try to wake you up for crying out loud. You know, he wants to he spend wants to some one-on-one -on -one time with yeah. you. You know, he's not going to give up. You know, I know the enemy's going to spew all the lies and junk, you know. Negativity. Yeah, to yeah. try to get you off, off course. But the more you know him, the more you will love to behold his matchless beauty. I wanted to share that. I That's thought that awesome. was that was really good. Godly living is birthed out of knowing him personally. So we can't know anybody personally including God, mm -hmm. unless you're with them on a consistent, intimately le a level, you know, yeah. deep level, not well, just surface. There's scriptures, the one I like and I quote it a lot is that grace and peace are multiplied. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we can get double or quadruple or a yeah. hundred times. Yeah. Um, but it's That's multiplied good. through knowing, knowing Jesus, mm -hmm. knowing the word, knowing, knowing God. That's good. That's good. That's yes, good. That's it's good. Very good. Intimate. That intimation is intimate again because mm -hmm. that's so important for that personal relationship. Yeah. Um, and it, it uh, it's guaranteed. It will bring effective, positive changes in your life. Yeah. It's just guaranteed. I mean, that's. Yeah. God is not a man that he's going to lie. Right. His word is truth. You know. And if you're doing your part and you're seeking hmm. and you're falling into line of what he put you here for, it's just gonna you know fall. Into into line. Now, yeah. yeah, you're going to have some issues like I've had, you know, 
um, that's in how my we recent learn, days, you know. Yeah. That's how we yeah. learn sometimes. Yeah. Can I throw in another word? Throw it. Yada. Oh, don't throw it. It's called yada. <laughs> yada. I think I'm saying it right. Yeah. But it talks about Adam mm -hmm. and Eve, and they knew each other. Mm -hmm. And that word yada. yada. But yada is an intimate relationship where there is um, interchanging. Oh, that's, good. that's good. Of relationship to where there is seed sown, mm -hmm. and then it reaps a harvest. Awesome. So basically, yada, yada. is in intimate, intimacy. Wow. Because we talked about sexual intimacy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. but that's the word God used for Relation, intimate relationship with, with him. him. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. I didn't, it is I cool. Guess I, I've heard of the word, but I yeah. never really did any study or really expound on it or knew. Yeah. And that's kind of intimacy he's wanting. He's wanting to yeah. have that exchange of yeah time spent together. Yeah, and well, he's, he's our father. What mm -hmm. father on the earth doesn't want to have that closeness with their children, you know? And mm -hmm. you think he, he wants it. I mean, we're his children and um, he can't force anybody. He's a no. God that he's not gonna, he gives us free will, you know, to make our choices. But can you just imagine? Um, yeah, just, just some of the times I've let him down and he was always there always waiting. There. I'm like, God, you're always waiting always for me. Always waiting. He waits and waits come. patiently, you know, yeah. and lets us go our ways and lets us exhaust ourselves and lets us get us into <laughs> oh, some awesome or some aw some terrible, not awesome, some terrible situations, you know, to that we get to that point where it's like, Man, oh, wow. I've miss, been missing you, God, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And even in our regular journey. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we get off course sometimes, but wow, where did this go? I don't know where this program went tonight. So, wow, I, I can't believe it, but I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful for allowing <laughs> us this platform to present joy in the journey to you and to you and to you. And God is ministering to your heart right now. And I, uh, I'm so thankful that we serve a God, a risen Savior, and he loves you and he's grateful that you uh, are his. And if you don't know him, he wants to know you. And we're, uh, again, thankful that you tuned in tonight. Come back and see us next week. On Thanks Daddy. again to Sue. I'm Beth Davis. Thank and have you. a great evening. God bless you.